Hey, how's it going everybody? So uh, this next video here is just a simple little video. Me, Joe, and Lucas went out to the Farallons. Um, I guess you guys are liking seeing the real me, so let's just keep going, you know? Uh, past years, I've tried to just keep it kind of quiet, professional, or whatever, um, and just talk all about fishing, but some of my friends suggested, hey, day, just be yourself, which is pretty much what I'm doing now, so you guys are gonna hear the whole everything. Um, so with that being said, I joke a lot, I laugh a lot, I do a lot of crazy stuff, so just enjoy it, okay? Um, but I do want to go over some of the stuff that I do when I fish for when I fish for lingcod and whatnot, especially um, the recent triple seasons that I've been messing around with uh, swim baits for lingcod, especially this one right here. This has become one of my favorites. This is the Apollo Creed that I call. I know they call it hot chili or something like that, and it's got a six ounce a blue jig head or whatnot, but I don't know. I First time I used it in Half and Bay with my buddy Quincy, I like the name Apollo Creed. I think it started with Captain America, but I like the Apollo Creed better, you know? Like I said, I grew up in the 80s, and I, would, I used to live off those movies, Rocky and all that stuff, Rambo and all that crazy nonsense, but uh, I don't know. Something reminded me of Apollo Creed, besides the fact that he's all kind of beat up, but I don't know. It's just... I don't know, but you can see like there's teeth marks all over this thing. This one's only caught eight ling cod. The original one that I caught those 24 on is actually being sent to the guys over there at Pitbull Tackle. But uh, this is it. This is all I use. You can tell it's got some some damage. You know, it's been it's been chewed up quite a bit already. Eight ling cod, but this thing should hold up to another 10, 20 more, no problem. Um, and uh, one thing I will. I will talk about in this video is on that trip on the Huck Finn. Um, it's a great boat, so is a Sea Wolf. There's a lot of good boats out there, um, but I think you get more action just using artificials, using your jigs, your swim baits. Um, nothing wrong against using bait, sand dabs. For me, that's just not too fun. Um, I think it's kind of boring, but whatever, whatever works for you or. As I would say, whatever honks your horn. Um, but uh, yeah, there, there's something more rewarding about just catching a fish on an artificial, on a, on a swim bait, you know? Um, this goes back years ago. Me and Captain Paul, uh, Boss Hog, um, we would do this stuff up north, up the Marin Coast, you know, little half ounce swim heads, three quarter ounce swim heads, or swim jigs, whatever, swim baits. Um, and we would just go up to the bow and just just act a fool, you know, you hear a screaming, hook up! No, it's crazy stuff. And the customers on, on the back of the boat are just like, what the hell are those guys doing? But we weren't using bait, we were just trying to help them out and get some more fish. Um, but it's just fun, you know, we don't do much, just hold the rod, we don't really go crazy and jig. I see people doing all this crazy stuff and it's it's crazy. I don't do anything, to be honest with you. I just hold it, you know, and um, slightly move it up and down a little bit. Um, I kind of let the let the swim bait do all the work for me, you know. I know some guys use like 16 ounce, 14 ounce heads. This is a six. We we're down 200 plus feet or whatever, and uh, it's really hard to snag these things because it's not as heavy as what everybody else is using hex bars and that crap. Um, so I just feel like you know, who's texting me here? Um, fishing with donuts. I just feel like since it's so light, it gets down there eventually, but it's less likely to, to hit bottom and snag on something, you know? And it also, it's right above that strike zone. So it's just cruising right above them. And these things just come up and just grab onto it. And uh, half the time, I don't even set the hook. I just, they hang on it, I reel on it and it loads up. And that big old hook just gets, you know, just lodged in there. There's a piece of flesh on there still. That's awesome. Whew. But anyhow, um, but yeah, you know, you guys got to get some of these things before I take them all. All right. And uh, the other thing I was using in this video, it's something I haven't used in a while. It's a P-Line cone head rig. And pretty much it's um, like a artificial octopus or whatnot. And it allows you to put a jig at the bottom. As you see this picture in the back, um, 
you know, that way you can catch a lingcod and a rockfish at the same time or whatnot, you know, or two rockfish, whatever. Um, it's pretty cool. You know, it, it's tied up with the 50 pound test. It's probably the CXX, but they come in a variety of colors, the purple, the orange, the red one, um, pink one. I have more somewhere, but um, that's a cool little alternative too. You know, instead of just putting just one swim bait down there, uh, got some of this stuff. It's P-Line XTCD braid. Uh, for rockfish link, I use maybe 30, 40 pounds, if that. Um, yeah, this one's a little heavier, but uh, but yeah, I just keep it simple. Um, I don't have my other stuff with me here, but a P-Line Shinsei is what I use. I usually use 20 or 25, maybe 30 at the most for rockfish. I just want to show you what the label looks like on this one. It's a little lighter. I use that for perch, if I ever do perch fishing. Um, and uh, yeah, I just use little snaps like this on my leader and it just attaches to the swim bait. Pretty simple. Um, I showed you guys how to, how to attach your floral to the to your braid, you know, pretty simple knot. Um, but like I said, you guys go out there, have some fun. Um, I see a lot of people on, on the boats just super stressing about catching a link cod. Um, I don't, you know, I'm out there, I'm just, you see me, I'm out there having fun. If you fish with me, you know how I am. I act a fool. Um, just make it fun, you know? I was joking with Joe the whole time, like, hey, you guys keep doing your thing, I'll catch all six link cod for all of us, we have limits, and it happened, <laughs> you know? But um, yeah, you know, it's, it's link cod, it's one of, those, one of those fish that I love catching, and, uh, there's always some jig, some swim bait that I'm using, but a lot of them have fallen to swim baits, and this one's seriously taking a lot of those things down. Um, I wish my boat was operational right now, and it's not. It's it's getting there. I'm gonna have to repower the whole thing and uh, try to finish up the rest of this season, do some sturgeon, but uh, in the future, I'll be working on getting another boat, and I do wanna break my record and that was 172 a link caught in this season, I believe. Um, that was four or five years ago or something like that. And I was still working on, maybe maybe longer. I was working on one of the boats on Flash and whatnot. And, um, I was deckhanding and whatnot. And just fishing in between trips, you know. Um, anytime we'd have a slow trip, a uh, captain would be like, hey, go bring your swim baits out and help these guys get some, some link caught. So that would, that's what I would do. But... Um, yeah, make sure you guys get some of these swim baits. The P-Line cone head jigs work. You'll see them in the video. Um, and just, just go ahead and have some fun, you know. Um, don't really stress on, on trying to catch lingo all the time. You know, if you're... Um, let's call me now. Anyhow, um, like I said, if you're, you're out there, you're having fun, I, I feel like the people that are the least stressed about catching those things are the ones that get the most. There's always that one guy that's got every gadget, every tool, every rod, everything, trying his hardest, and there's a couple in this video. Um, they get a couple, but it's just, I don't go out there with the mentality. I go out there and just have fun. Um, and you'll get them, you know? You know, you're confident in your gear. Make sure you have the right rod, the right tackle, the right line. Um, all that plays a big factor in this stuff, so you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'm going to put together... A link card challenge hopefully on one of these boats i'm gonna shoot for the sea wolf i'll talk to john and see if uh we can do an all artificial link card challenge and um try to make this an annual thing and see who's up for it you know um i talked to pitbull already they're on board with it so let's make it happen you guys enjoy the video remember to subscribe like comment share all that other good stuff and um we'll be back in the water soon and uh yeah Next video I'll do, I'll probably do something live, you know, interactive with you guys. So let's get ready for that. You guys enjoy the video and we'll see you soon. All right. Later. Well, while Joe's over there playing with this, uh, I don't know what you call that thing. Flounder, flounder, flounder. Ping pong bracket. Guess we're getting some bait. Look at that guy. Nice. I don't know. I guess we're getting sand dabs now, so.
We're out by the fair lawns. Having some fun. Right yeah, me too. So I think I already got a couple. Let's go back down there. All right, let's see where we come up. I just got to the bottom using the, the popcorn krill shrimp flies from P-Line. Got Mr. Mitchell here. Let's see. These guys are talking about using these for bait. I don't know. I'm not even keeping these. Nah. We don't need bait. That'll work for bait. Huh? <laughs> what am I doing? Hand hurts. It's not a tuna. There. Oh, man. Huh? There, I got it. One little, two little, three little sun dubs. Oh man, those are gonna be so happy when I give them these. Snack time. Got them? Yeah. Those are my favorite shrimp flies, the purple curls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lots of love. All right, let's put some more stank shit on it. I don't ever use this stuff, but. <laughs> stinks. This is one of the rare occasions it's gonna use bait. See how long it takes now. Um, and uh, the port side. All right, so after 10 or so minutes of this nonsense, we got a few, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there it is for bait. We're gonna cook them. So. See what kind of nonsense is going on here. What do you got going on? That's it. Two. What do you got? Yeah, two. two. Normies. I remember the last time I was on a charter boat like this, on a big boat. 
it's all Joe's fault. Let's see. It takes forever to get up here. You need to invest in an electric reel. There we go. There you go. Get off. All right, so one thing, if you're gonna come out on these boats, don't be that guy. And yeah, when it tangles you from the opposite end of the boat, like the guy just tangled Joe. They were on that side, he's on this side. Oh man, look at that one. Always. It's not a tuna. Not a tuna. Power. It's a ring card. <laughs> I hope so. That's so big. Loving that color, huh? And there I switched over. What color? It's the Apollo Creed. The blue one? Uh, the Apollo Creed swim bait. From Pitbull. That's not the name, but I named it that. Oh, okay. And that's what it's being sold as now. Yeah, good thing I didn't try the bull swim bait. So if you ask for it, they'll give it to you. They know what it is. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Anybody else got me on this side? I got a fish on there too. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my fish because of that. Stop reeling! There it is. There, go. Oh, there we go. Woo. The tanglers, huh? Oh, yeah. Can't really just cut that. <laughs> Snip. 
That's the Apollo Creed. Now you see why I call it Apollo Creed? Yeah, it looks good. It's red and blue, and it's all beat up. <laughs> looks half dead. And he's living in America. That's oh. you all right? Yeah, I just thought I'd let something go. Oh, uh, no, no worries. <laughs> all right, that's all one. Right, clear on the other side. Uh, that's number one. Let's get to be done. Over on bottom. Just need one more. Two. That's a good one too. Apollo Creed. Oh, it's a good one too. God. What do you do on Saturday morning? Yeah, you pull up sea dragons. Hold on, stop reeling. That's a good one. Join his friends. Thank you, sir. No, we need about 30 more out of you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh oh. He's hooked to earth again. Point the rod higher. Makes it easier. You got a runner. Oh, you got a runner. Sit so and turn the handle. Watch your line, Joe. This guy's got the boat in gear. That color? El Gapo. Yeah, here. There we go. Stick. Yeah. Woo. All right, three. <laughs> Probably bigger than the first one I got. See that smaller one to Joe. That one, yeah. Yeah. There you go, Joe. You can have that one. That's a consolation prize. All right, let's go for another one. How many more? I need 28 more. All right, we got three. Three Lincod. Hey, make that four. I just got to the bottom. Oh, <laughs> Thing barely hit bottom. 
It's my first time doing this. Is it? Yeah. This year. <laughs> ah, come on. Come on, buddy. Show yourself. <laughs> That's right, you tell them. Get you that Apollo Creed swim bait. Uh, Pitbull tackle. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Come on. I hope this one's bigger. That color. Ooh. A nice one. Woo. Number four. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go back down. It's pretty chunky one, huh? Yeah. Whew. Yeah. All right, Joe, you're done. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's another one. Yeah. That's a good one. What is this, number five? Come on. Come on, Richie, it's for you. All right. That color. Oh, come on, come back up. Come on, baby. There you go. Next guy down the line. Five, yeah. It's a little Lucas. That one's not bigger than the other ones, huh? Look at that. That's five already. Woo. Thank you, Joe. He said no to you and said yes to me. Runner, she's a track star. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. What do you guys think? 1241, we're done. Right? So, we're done. I got six link cod. Caught our limits link cod. I think I was the first one with limits of everything. Yeah, what do you know? What's this? But, uh, yeah, it was fun. So, they're out filleting fish back there. We're in a snack. But uh, you guys want to come out and have some epic fishing. You guys got to check out the new hook pin run by J. Pizzo and his brother John on the Sea Wolf. It's some badass fishing. So I don't know, Richie. I don't think you can handle it, man. It would have took you and your old posse, I'd say, about three days to catch that old fish. So we'll see, bro. We'll see you guys. What do you guys say? What do you guys say? <laughs> All right, we're out this mother. <laughs> See what that one? Just for curiosity.
12? Yeah. Okay. Ten. What about overall combined weight? <laughs> I got six. You win. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys are watching this, you probably already figured it out. We got some bluefin. Um, I'm gonna start working on that video right now. But uh, it's been a long day, long night. I had to cut this fish up. And uh, it was awesome fishing with the guys, with Joe and Jonathan and Donut on the salty semen. Yeah, so here's to you guys. New roll I kind of came up with, sliced mango. Kind of looks like a Philly roll with mango on it. And then I put some, some bluefin on top and a slice of lime. So let's give it a shot and see how it comes out. Mm. It's really good. Nothing like some fresh bluefin tuna. Especially caught right here in our backyard. Home turf. I've been waiting for that one. Wow. Amazing. Anyhow. Anyhow, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'm gonna get back to making some more creations with the bluefin. The bluefin video is gonna be coming out soon, next week sometime. Hope you guys enjoy it, but for now, I'm gonna finish the sushi and we're out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, remember, Use a promo code in the description below for your your um can't think this is so good. Apollo Creed Sundays. See you later.